hello and welcome in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to create the roller conveyor system in the SOLIDWORX these are the basic parts required to create this system this is the object uh, which will move in this roller conveyor system and other parts like support roller and conveyor first of all we will create this parts will assemble them to create the system and later will apply motion analysis how it works let's see this is the animation the object is moving in the conveyor at last it will fall down from this conveyor I'll show you how to create this type of assembly and the animation let's start Now let's start. We are going to create the first part that is support. The dimensions are the radius 60 and length between the centers is 100 and the extruded dimension is 10 mm. We are not going to create the real practical dimension. We are just going to practice to create the assembly and the animation let's create this part go to new part and create a part file let's make the background plane white go to front plane and simply take the center point stretch slot create a slot this dimension it this one is 60 mm distance between these centers these are the random dimensions you can take your own dimension this is fully defined go to feature and exclude it through mid plane 10 mm click ok now we are going to create hole here sketch circle now select this curve semi-circle and you can find the center provide 16 mm diameter exit go to feature and select exclude cut select through all ok now hole is created now we are going to pattern this hole in this central surface area now select this exclude cut go to linear pattern now it is asking to select the direction of the pattern select this edge provide the distance between the cir circular holes as ATMM click ok now our base is ready you can apply appearance colors of the material click ok now save this part save create a folder this one is part one support or the roller support now let's create the roller create a new part file make the background plane white choose any plane and draw a circle of diameter 72 this is random dimension go to feature and exclude from mid plane provide the exclude length 200 this is also random we are just going to create the same and we will focus on the motion analysis now draw a circle here provide 16 mm 
diameter because the base hole is 16 and extrude up to 10 mm only this is enough now in this face also draw a circle provide 16 mm diameter go to feature and extrude it up to 10 mm click ok now our roller is ready if you want to provide any appearance of the color you can provide any color you want now go to file and save it save in any desired let's say part 2 roller save now you can close again go to new part file now we create an object that will slide in the conveyor go to top plane sketch and draw a center rectangle we are going to create a simple object let's say this is 150 this is also the random dimension 70 go to feature and exclude up to let's say 30 mm perfect let's provide some color okay now go to file and save this part part 3 object and save it now there is a easy way to create the conveyor I'll show you how to create the parts are done now assemble all the parts select all three parts the first one is automatically fixed this one is roller and this is object we need this another support part make plain white for better visibility press ctrl and drag this to create a similar part now we will provide mat go to mat now provide concentric relation with this wall ok again select concentric select this wall ok you can move it select this face and inner face ok again select this inner face and this outer face ok now let's make these two supports parallel select parallel mid select this upper plane and this plane now they are parallel now to create the roller here we can apply the comp linear component part pattern first select the component to pattern go to linear pattern now you have to provide here pattern direction we will select this is now total number of roller required is 11 and distance is 80 this one is ok 
click OK. Now roller and support are ready. Here is our object. Let's put it here. Now I'll show you how to create the conveyor. Go to insert assembly feature and here is a option belt chain simply select first roller and last roller now you can see the shape where the conveyor will create now here is the option create a belt part simply click ok this is automatic calculation click ok now it's asking for the save name a is assembly click ok now the part is created here in the drop down menu you will find the belt part simply click edit part and select exclude boss base select this line and in the direction one provide up to surface and select this inner surface only and in the direction two select this inner part of the base first of all select up to surface and select this surface this one is solid we need hollow so provide thin feature and provide dimension 2 mm is enough click ok now this is very simple way the beautiful conveyor belt system is created now you can hide this line now before motion ana analysis let's make this object this object will move in this conveyor belt system first of all select parallel select this bottom face and this upper face now they are parallel okay let's hide this for better visibility again go to mate select tangent mate this time and select this surface with this surface now they are in contact you can adjust it manually Click OK. Select side view and adjust the position manually. You can select 2D wireframe, hidden line visual, and try to drag it. everything is perfect now for the motion study we don't need these two mates parallel mates suppress this one and tangent mate also suppress this one so this body is free now go to file and save this save all okay now go to motion study this one is the important part now first of all we will provide the motor select motor and select this roller you can change the direction of this motor provide the speed 100 rpm is to be let's say 20 mm and click ok can change the animation 
duration now second select contact you can down this use contact groups now we we have to make the contact with this object and the with the rollers first of all select this object and here select all the rollers you can select it from the design tree also by pressing the shift key I am going to select manually because the number of roller is not too big and here select motion analysis and you will get the option here you can select aluminium grids or steel greasy both works well I am going to select steel greasy click ok now we have applied motor and the contact now select gravity and provide the direction for gravity in the y direction or you can select this as this is where you want to apply the gravity effect click ok now everything is set click calculate now it will calculate it takes the time you have to wait now you can show and hide the belt here this one is the belt and belt length is automatic calculated by the software let's wait for the calculation it takes some time it's going in this direction you can create any shape you can provide here this stand for this base and you can design these parts you can apply the number of objects to roll over the conveyor now we are in the halfway just wait because the calculation takes the time now we are about to finish you can save the animation from here video I'll show you how to save the animation also now everything is set you can down this now and simply click play Now the object is moving in the conveyor. Now, okay. Now, so this belt also, and I can play. Now this is perfect. And this was in this video tutorial. I hope you learn about how to create these parts in the motion analysis. You can save the animation from here. Now there are many options for the better Microsoft AVI is OK. I prefer 16 is to 9 ratio. Click save. And if you if you want the full quality video, select full frame and click OK. Now it will calculate and save the video in your file. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.